Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. I'm Narkov. We are just about to go do flying class, actually. Very excited for that. We uh, A little time has passed. Now we're in the, the Discord with Exentis, so we're going to be hopping into there and talking to him. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Okay. What are you doing right now, Exentus? I am currently running around doing some side quests. Nice. That I ignored at the beginning. I've got some of those I need to do as well, but it says flying class, so I'm going to do that. I need to unlock these flu flames. How did I not get that one? I've been out there. Oh, I've got this one. I think that's another thing I have to do is go and make sure I have all the flu flames unlocked. It's definitely worth getting the ones around the castle, at least, and then just getting as many as you can out in the world. There's probably as many out in the world as there are in the castle, too. It's crazy. Oh, yeah, it's... We haven't even touched, like, any of the map. Yeah, I've, I've gone out a very little bit, and that's about it. Well, they got big rings set up for flying class. I'm actually uh, almost almost done with my side quest at this point in this time. Is, I may want that. I am off another adventure. Or... Yeah, adventure. You doing much, sorry? So I'm almost done most of my side quests that are like the ones I ignored. The ones that you picked up but didn't do? Yeah. There's so many around the world. <laughs> I wish they would show up on the map so you could just go track them down easy. I got uh, my talent tree unlocked, and I got. I started just spending my points willy nilly, and I didn't have enough to get everything like you did that was available. I didn't didn't have everything, mostly everything. I didn't get all of the core stuff. I made sure to get a second D pad for the yeah, spells. Yeah, second a second spell diamond. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And I, ma I made uh, sure to upgrade all my room, basic spells so that, started. like, you know, my Levioso, Levioso's everything in its area and such. Yeah. Mr. Clothen, your attention, please. Yeah, I, I got all my spell diamonds. Everyone, please welcome a new all. student to our flying class. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of so you have forgotten. So, fun fact, you forgotten. cannot land over Diving, a river, even rolling, and if it's something you can walk will through. Not be taught or in fact tolerated really? In this class. Yep, we'll I just tried. To Wouldn't professional Quidditch players. You can hop like onto your broom you while you're to. swimming. Not a fan yep, but you it? cannot land. Now, let's see how well everyone kept can you up fall from the sky? Over the summer no. Holidays. For those Maybe in a cutscene. Up to your broom. Say up, firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. The seat? What seat? Up. Thank you. Now. She thanked her turn. broom. Up. Up. Up, you stupid ratty school broom. Up. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust if of my up didn't work, right off. just Accio. <laughs> and if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. We are on now, a broom. For your oh. first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms <laughs> are school. This is brilliant. Property. I want them returned in one piece. This will take some getting used to. Yeah, yeah. I can use left stick to sh turn sharply, right stick to turn smoothly, and right well stick to move up and down. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? I'm assuming there's a way to go a lot faster. There's like a boost mechanic. This next set of rings will take you around the grounds. 
for more of a challenge. What a view! <laughs> Hello! Nice day for a flight! This is awesome. Uh -huh. Brilliant! Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. I do like how that looks like that. <laughs> no, I wonder what boom you're gonna buy. Is there a lot of options? Uh, well, there's five options. Our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. Oh, the squid! The squid! Ah. Yep. I was messing around, I almost missed it. Make more noise. Do we have any toast for him? <laughs> That's cool. I wasn't Made it. confident that they oh, would see anything. Did anyone else see that? Oh, you can do Summoner's Court. Oh, well done. Outside of the class. The yeah. That's the the Accio ball rolling game. Yeah. Yeah. I knew that from the uh, playtest alpha. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Are you the teacher, we Everett? We met in the common room. I'm Everett Clockton. So, care to join me for a bit of high-flying fun? Oh yeah, you're the crazy guy who threw the <laughs> smoke bomb at the girls in the common room. Who helped you when you were on your room? Was it Everett Clopton from Ravenclaw, or was it somebody from your own yeah. house? Everett Clopton. Interesting. Let's do it. I can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Speak like Hello, somebody me. who's evil. A bit of a detour, so to speak. <laughs> the tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. All right, following. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. A school tour at the same time. Let's hope the headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. What a terrible. How is ever at flying so quick? <laughs> What's her? I said I did terrible. Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's Thank more you. like it. You sure you're not part hippogriff? Aha. There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Well, we were going to go to the Quidditch pitch. Fine. Dismount here. Why would I dismount when I've got a broom? I never had a broom. Oh, if you hold B, it <laughs> descends. Make dismounting easier. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor Enough. Class is finished for the day.
As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Okay, so we can go buy a Sorry now. about that business with Kagawa. <laughs> but you have to admit, those views were worth it. Yeah, I have no regrets. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. Can we buy I a clock to her broom? I visiting Albie Weeks at Spint, which is in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. If I could afford the new Bright Spark broom at Spint Witches, I'd be on it now! Ooh, I got level 15, which means talent point, which means every time I level up now, I get excited. Should I pick up a room or requirement one? They're just like buffs on your herbology and potion stuff, eh? Yeah, by the looks of it. Maybe I'll make, get the one where my healing potions are more effective. They look like they heal a lot more. Take a look at some of our challenges. We got some stuff to claim. I wish it was actually giving me gear that I could go sell. I don't think I've got a lot of money. You said 600? Yeah. Oh, I don't think it tells me my money there. Oh, well, there it is, 334. And do I have any extra gear? I don't think I do. I have an extra cloak because it's the one that needs the room requirement, and that's it. So we should go do something before I get my broom so I can afford it. Damn it! <laughs> well, let's look at quests. Quest, quests. You know what they say, man. Have you gotten Follow the Butterflies? You follow the Butterflies. Side quest called Follow the Butterflies. <laughs> I have not gotten Follow the Butterflies, I do not believe. You have to follow butterflies into the Forbidden Forest. There is two I... ghosts running around, and one's trying to murder the other with an axe. Yes. Yep, it's like a husband and wife, and the wife's pissed for eternity. Just chases them around the castle with an axe all the time. <laughs> Devin's ran into her yesterday, or ran into them yesterday. Hmm. There's a forest bridging handles. I don't know where that is. I could probably figure it out, but conjuration spellcraft seems good. I haven't actually done the Fall of the Butterflies one, but I found it hilarious. Fall of the Spiders. I need the world map for this one. I can use this fluke here. It is a little odd. There's some flu flames in some odd places. But they're very helpful for the RPG that is Hogwarts Legacy. <laughs> yep. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. I've said follow the butterflies. There they are. <laughs> there they are. There they are. She wasn't making it up. Well, we've come this far. Miss Willard's he might get an answer about these butterflies. Levioso! 
Incendio. Found a frog on a pedestal in the castle, but it was behind a locked door. I'm assuming it's the same kind of thing that you guys are talking about. Akio, Levioso. Incendio. Got him. Are the butterflies waiting for me? That would be very helpful. Find out where they're going. I should find out where they went first. Revelio. Oh. Well, well. Look what we have here. Akio. Incendio. Akio. Levioso. Akio. Incendio. Levioso. I'm quite adept at murdering spiders by this point. Akio. Sorry, what were you saying? So they've become quite adept at murdering spiders by this point. Yep. Lots of moonstone, too. Akio. Oh, interesting. I wonder if I can actually do this. I'm not trial when I see one. Incendio. Akio. There is three of these. Have moonstone inside. Uh. Levioso. Incendio. Akio. Lumos. Expelliarmus, Depulso, Reparo. Quite unsure what to do with this. Something to do with the butterfly? The pulse of It's not quite what I want. It still give me the moonstone? Oh, it does. Even if you depulse a moonstone, it comes to your inventory. Yep. Just hitting moonstone, it comes to your inventory. Guess so. Meet, here I come. You can fall some from like some really high distance and not take a lot of damage. Wait, that's back 
fixes my issue. <laughs> What's up? I just watched a, a knight fall apart as it tried to move. A suit of armor. It was trying to move and just slowly fell apart. Answer for me about the butterflies. I do, I do. Hello, Miss Willardy. Well, what happened? Did you find them? They led me into the forest and revealed a treasure. Oh, how lovely! I'm glad you were rewarded for your efforts. Oh, perhaps one day I'll be able to bring myself to go into the forest. For now, I'm happy simply knowing there's something so lovely to see. Should I dare? No, you shouldn't. Give me money! Or loot! Revelio! Yes! There was a, a seeing eye chest whatever thing here. And they give you 500 gold galleons. At least every time I've done it, I've gotten 500 galleons from it, nothing else. Oh, same here. Which is perfect. Basically, bought my broom. Ah, new face! Wonderful! Revelio! Some cool looking brooms in here. And this chest you have in your shop, I can just take from it. Thank you. Oh, look, another chest. Take a Wigan Weld potion any day. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned. Thankfully, with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare U weavers available. Puzzle. Ember Dash, Silver Arrows. Wind Wisps, too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close, Spint Witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals were overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere. But you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. <laughs> no, right, how many brooms? Back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. Hey, look. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. A very interesting puzzle. What are we looking for today? They all cost 600? Good. That item is of the highest quality. Do not like that one. Not awful. That item is of the highest quality. Don't like that one. Can't Accio the Snitch? What was the one that... 
Was it Wind Wisp? There was one that um, Everett or whatever said that he wanted. I don't think it's in this list. Either Wind Wisp or it's not in this list. Can't Accio the, the Snitch. Fire. Did you? <laughs> yeah. That item is the you know what it makes me think of? What? Burning Imbus? No, it makes me think of um, Magna's Broom from Black Clover. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That item is of the highest quality. I think the one that I like the most is the Moon Trimmer's design. If they got rid of the satchels and the the lantern, I'm not big on that. That item is of the highest quality. Same with the Wind Wisp. I don't mind the Wind Wisp, but get rid of the lantern on it. Might go with the Hogwarts House Broom for that reason. I don't You'll mind be thrilled it. with that broom, I promise you. I have a broom. I have my own broom. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancement? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? Yep, let's do it. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Rays will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. How do I jump on my broom? Do I have to equip it still? Left bumper B. I do not have to equip it still. Left bumper B, eh? <sighs> if you're in Hogsmeade, it's no fly zone. Yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Now I'm on my broom. And now I have a room of requirement. Wow. I got the desk of description. Desk of description? Desk of description, yep. This is certainly faster than walking already. Sorry, what was that? This is certainly faster than walking already. Yep. Do you know what the weather balloons are for? Are they for the flying? Yeah, I'm pretty sure, but I haven't tried. I'm at some now. I don't know what they're for. Yeah, you can pop them by flying through them. You get some XP for popping the balloons. Let's go do that, actually. 
exactly what we're tracking right now. Down to the water. I heard the squid without being in a scripted zone. Didn't see it though. for doing the summoner's court outside of class now. That's what, yeah, that's what I meant. Been able to do the summoner's court outside of class, like it's been there, and I've walked up to him before. Didn't have a side quest with it until now. Oh. Uh, How come the Quidditch pitch is only set up on one half? There's no rings on the other side. Quidditch has been banned. Actually, there's no rings on this side either. They're just fence poles. <laughs> but they can't have the rings up? Honestly, the, the pitch feels small to actually play a sport on. It doesn't look small. It doesn't seem like it's a bad proportion for the game to use. Oh, I hit my head on it. Damn it. Get your head stuck on one side. I'm literally stuck unless I turn around. I don't got no rugs. Hey you, Ravenclaw. Imelda Rays? Albie Week sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. Seems someone's jealous of my skills on a broom. Me? Slytherin Quidditch captain. Jealous of you? Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Ravenclaw. Let's do it. Actually, why not? Let's that do it. Your record. Have you done any of the I'm time trials? I'm looking forward to seeing you lose. I've done one. About to do the first one. She's looking forward to seeing me lose. This is rather fun. Keep it steady. Keep it steady. It. Ah 
missed it. Oh, never mind. Don't go back for stuff. Don't go back for stuff. Shoot. Wasted so much time. Success. Brilliant. Yeah, still good. Still way faster than the time to be. Gotta hit B. Ugh, that's not. You, you must have cheated. You. Ah. Fine. You won. Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Eh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. <laughs> I don't want respect from the likes of you. All you do is insult people. You and everyone else need to get a thicker skin. Anyway, I'm moving on to the next course. It's near Irondale and offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Alby Weeks. Okay. Yeah, I could probably get that top time I if I just Mr. Weeks will be glad didn't to hear mess it up. <laughs> I was kind of hoping that this time that this leaderboard would actually be like a multiplayer public leaderboard. The second, she said leaderboard. I was like, really? Gotta go back to Albi. Okay, we'll do that. Can you... What happens when you get to Hogsmeade, if you fly to Hogsmeade? Then you fly to Hogsmeade. Can you get off your broom in Hogsmeade, or does it stop you before you get there for the no-fly zone? Like, it's, how does that work? It, it stops you before you get in there. It doesn't, like, let you fly around but tell you you can't land. That's what I'm worried about the most. Gotcha. This is like a barrier. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. No way through. Got the money though. You're back with something to report, I hope. Mr. Wheats, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. This house elf is just I sitting here eating a box of every flavored bean, the spilling them everywhere. Turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Hmm. 
That's precisely Sorry, what, was that? what I needed to know. Was it this house elf? Eh? Well, is standing there eating a box of every flavored bean, spilling them everywhere. Works that potential all along. Pretty much every house elf I've seen has uh, apparated away as I've seen them. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Hmm. How to address the issue of our... I didn't get one just now, right? I didn't get an upgrade. Started going down the path of getting it. Okay. It relates to speed. Well, that's going to be us for this episode. Um, definitely a really fun episode. I, uh, I've wanted the broom for so long. It's one of the things that I've wanted to do since I knew the game was coming out. Just fly around as I will, as I please. As I stay low to the ground, you'll notice the bar on the bottom right, that yellow bar. It's my left bump, my left trigger, which is like the lean forward extra boost. There's multiple le levels of it. There's just like normal flying, the right trigger, and left trigger is even faster. If I'm up in the air, the left trigger drains that bar. From near the ground, it won't. And the upgrade should make that height like higher, I think, is what he was saying. I am very, very, very happy. So easy just to fly over to Hogwarts like that. Like We're going to try something, actually, that we haven't tried yet. Before we end the episode, we're going to go to Ravenclaw Tower and see if it lets us land up on it. I don't think it will, but we're going to try. We are a Ravenclaw. It lets us. We can't access the, the door still because of the lock, but it lets us. I didn't think it was going to let us. Oh man, this is cool. Then we can just up and fly away. And we'll be able to access the castle and the Ravenclaw common room from there. That's really sick. Let's get a backdrop with a bit more light maybe. It's kind of dark out here. That, that's better. Very cool. All right, well, thanks for joining me again on this episode. I'm really, really enjoying this game. I'm having a hell of a lot of fun, and I'm very happy to have the broom. Got a lot of that done today. Next time, I think we're just going to clean up some side quests, maybe. Fly around, explore a little bit on the broom. Unsure, we'll see what comes our way. Thanks for joining me. Have a good one. Enjoy the rest of your day.